All right, as well as Greth, and welcome to another of my vid reps. This time it's BATL. It's week two. SC no, I'm not gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna say it right this time. SCCB Sunshine versus Aces Ramada. This is game one, and of course we have Brown Terran versus White Protoss, the blandest colors for the blandest matchup. So there we are. These players, however, do know how to play the game somewhat, I do believe, even though that's all spam right now. And there we go. So, and yes, indeed, I will never, ever do regular vid reps anymore. I'm only going to do tournaments because I hate my audience and I want them to unsubscribe. So yes, for some of you, <laughs> I, yes, I uploaded all of the Beginner Cup games in one go and I lost about 10 subscribers because of it. I literally gain more subscribers when I'm not making videos. So that's great. That's exactly what I'll be doing. I mean, spamming my my intake, of course. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Regardless of that, let's get into the game. We have probes. We have, of course, this is on a map with two bridges. Um, I'm guessing they're common. But yeah. We have a supply depot, which is always nice. We have a probe scouting the wrong way, and we have ourselves a gateway. These are all things that sometimes happen in the StarCraft game. And yeah, I'm actually curious to see how these guys fare, because last PATL games, I mean, it's important to even um, cross the, the walkovers, let's say. Uh, just, you know, so the players can get cast. Then, you know, they see, they see themselves in action, getting completely destroyed, but, you know... With reason. There we go. We've got a scout that's actually going to not affect anything because they're not going to pass each other, actually. Disappointing. We have a barracks, which is sometimes a thing that Terran also does, and we have a refinery, so we might actually see some factory play in this TV fucking P, which really, I am serious when I say that that's actually a relief. There we are. So yeah, also no countdown screen and doing the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 because apparently I had to do it. Well, I had to do it in the single player replay viewer because the game hates me for some reason. They don't want to do that anyway. CV is going to scout 1, 2. They are both going to get quite late information, but well, no real shenanigans. We've got our gas. We have a couple of marines to root them out here. We've got a cybernity score. Really all depends. It's cross position, so they both know this now. If you do... <laughs> if there's a bit of a... I Actually, the reason why I'm doing this so late, these casts, is because I bit my tongue ferociously on, on uh, Monday and I was talking with a lisp. And it still hurts like fuck, but I'm still going to try and start these casts. Probably I'm going to get through them all because it's actually... It hurts to exist at this point. All right, so we have the factory. The probe is somewhere. The uh, ACVs happy amongst the natives here. Well, it's a splice. It's a splice platform. Though, yeah, nobody's native here, except for maybe Terrans. Terrans is the janitor. All right, so we've got. All these things, the goons are going to oust the SEV here. Probe's coming back for more because it literally ran the marine around the entire fucking map and they'll die. Because that's what probes do. It is also going to get inside the base and not get killed immediately by the marine. And what we got, we got the machine shop. The important things really, um, he didn't go for a fast expansion because that's kind of the thing that happens. Um, not expanding. We still have gas, full gas, but is he going to have... Oh, okay. We do have a bit of a proxy. And yes, I did spot that. Yay. Sometimes I'll look at the minimap. Not always. We do have an expansion. This is interesting. So we are going to see this factory completing, landing, getting some vultures. This is sneaky. We have the mines. We also have that tank to pretend... That everything is fine. This is good. This is actually good. We have this that second gateway is up. We have the goon here. We don't have any goons. We have one more popping up. So this is gonna uh wanna know. Oh yeah, it pauses when I do that. That's all amazing. 
Let's, um, oh, that's the other way around. Yeah, he's going to fucking see it, isn't he? He put those here. How quickly is he going to notice this? I am going to zoom out. I know it's heresy. He's distracting with the SEV. The factory's there. Yeah, I've seen him. All right. He's seen it. And it's not good. That's actually a real shame. That is a very, very big shame. Because of the uh, the gateway placement. If he would have done it in this huge fucking base. <laughs> done it anywhere else. Those are the mines. So he... If the second... If this, uh, he doesn't focus the vulture. If the second vulture goes like that, then now he does. Oh well. I would say, you know, if the two would come out... They could plant some mines and do some shit, but no, sadly not. But in the meantime, we do have a push in the natural with the tank and the marines here. Bit of an awkward push. Um, is going to kill the one, but um, yeah, that tank's going to go down. That's kind of what you want to protect here. We've got the vulture coming in. Is going to land a single mine, which is not going to be of any use. And this is a little awkward. In the meantime, the factory was still gung-hoing, but it's going to be taken out, actually. We do have... Yeah, speed is done. Now, the one I see is still looming dangerously, but... Yeah, so with this, the one vulture remains. Not as successful as he would have hoped. He might be able to intercept if he sends it now, but it's not, so that's going to burn... He's going to try and expand off of this. What, what, what are you doing here? You're not going to double expand, are you? That would be sheer suicide. Second factory, because this one is the dead. Expansions here, expansions there. Where's the push, sunshine? Where's the fucking push? Get the fuck out of here. He's expecting some kind of doomsday thing here. Oh, he's really scared about the mines. Yep. Well done with the steppy step. Well done. Didn't really work out. How's this? Yeah, I know. He's got that robot. For... He doesn't want to move out because of the mines. This is disastrous. There's not much here, mate. There really isn't that much here, except for the mines that are awkwardly positioned. He doesn't want to do it. He's building a lot. Maybe build a zealot, then you can put them in front. So he's going to send in the one Valiant Goon. And to his disasters site, there will be no mines here. Oh, wow. The psychological warfare of Terran. Don't you just hate them? So, yeah. There's a pile on there now, just to make sure. First observer. Some more goons. And, yeah, some scattered mines. Now, finally, that expansion is starting to look like something. He is going to go for that double expand. He did do that. Wow. Sunshine, mate. If you play it so fucking passively. Because he's still doing all right. 50 to 70. I mean, he had that game. The double expansion is this... At a hubris. It is arrogance. Now all of these factories need to be built. He's not. He's doing all right in gas. He does need the extra minerals, actually. And now gearing up for, well, an eBay for maybe some very late turrets. Because there's a lot of, a lot of uh, goons here. Legs are done. A couple of gateways should make maybe a bit more than that. And now he's really slowly pushing. Now, of course, we have the siege tanks. Again, we only have two. Now he's at 70. Supply blocked himself. In the midst of this. Missile turrets, academy. Then gearing up for that inevitable Protoss thing that they do. Did he just attack? Was that a probe? Or did... No, no, that couldn't have been a probe. There's tanks here. One more tank. One more tank. Now it's starting to look a bit like a defense here. But again, no moving out. A lot of zealots here now. 96. The 70 still supply blocked. 
now building the supply depot. Wow. Radama, I mean, if you manage to win this, man, you were given this game on a fucking silver platter. A lot of shit's coming out. The archives are up. No Reavers then. Okay, we have a little bit of a visit here. Which I would have expected earlier. Maybe, you know, a bit of a poke. But it's a little... Well, that's the thing. It's actually too early because the Nexus isn't completed yet. So sadly, these vultures are not going to find anything. Now the goons are moving out. And what do we have? So we have this base is now sort of operational. Sort of operational. Not really saturated in the way you want to. But the factories are here. Holy Jesus. The factories are here. And he won't get supply blocked anymore now. We have 86 to 121. This is still... <sighs> very well. Even if, if he takes a front here, clears these mines with the with a, only a couple of zealots, because they're very clumped together. And here, this end here, again, only two tanks. He's very spread out. Now the macro is going to start kicking in. You have these vultures on standby, but, you know. Wow, there's a lot of zealots here. I really hope he doesn't send them all in one clump to die in a single mine. That would be unfortunate. Alright. So the temple archives are up. Is he going to go straight for the arbiters? Here we go. Yep. Stargate. So what, what are you doing, man? You've been given map control for quite a while. Not much has happened. Maybe that third gas. A couple of cannons to deter the free run buys, which is good because you don't always see that. You can clear that barracks out. Oh no. Does he have a replacement barracks actually? Oh wow, he doesn't. So he actually needs to build a barracks now. Otherwise he can't build any more <laughs> fucking factories. Alright. So what do we got? We've got a move out. Now it is looking a bit more like a defense, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of SCVs idle everywhere. There we go, checking for those expansions that aren't there. Because both players really just gave map control to each other. Sure, there were some vultures on the map, but come on. <laughs> what else? We've got more gateways, uh, stargates. We've got Abyssal Tribunal. Again, the gateways are okay, but yeah, he does want that third. Is he going to play it safe? Is he just not going to bother? Is he really just going to try and deny any expansion? But that... 147 to 100, still way in the lead. But that's going to start changing up. Yep, needs to build the barracks, can't build anymore. But look at this, though. There's a lot of, there's not a lot of machine shops here. So if these tanks get taken out, it's going to take quite an effort to replace those. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of mines. There's a lot of zealots and there's a lot of everything. 82. To still, yeah, quite a bit behind. What? Oh, he trapped those SCVs. He trapped two SCVs building the missile turrets for the air attack that would never come. Two arbiters. Yeah, I don't think Sunshine's going to push here. I'm, 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 I'm weirded out a little bit that he's not trying and trying a little poke but he's gonna sit pretty on this base might want to main yet some shit he's gonna build another forge gonna use those arbiters couple of goliaths or well the one goliath i didn't click the goliath there's a goliath oh yeah okay so he's gonna check this without an observer of course Oh, no, it's already there. We're, there we go, we're maxed. 165. Mm -hmm. Science facility, a little late, but okay. 
other things to worry about, like building missile turrets on every single place you can find. Oh, oh, killed them actually. Oh, the probe. Probe might have been spotted by the mines, I don't know, but it is going to expand. First arbiters should be out. Or was that cancelled for some reason? Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Uh, energy as well, because, you know, there's slow building, and you want that extra spawn energy. Not for the max, but for the minimum. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen here. It's going to be a big apocalyptic battle, and it's, it is going to come from Protoss. Because this is nothing to fuck with. You kind of want Storm with this. But I don't think we're going to see this. I think we're just, yeah, all right, we've got the first arm. It is. I mean, it's still, it's stasisable. And a lot of these are sieged either. Yeah, the vultures are trying to get in, but fuck that shit. They will not. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. It's Terran who's going to move out. It's Radama thinking, eh, why not? Server's so going to get spotted now. All of this shit needs to be mobilized, and that's always fun. Because a Terran army on the move is a clunky thing. Once they're set up, they're near invincible, even with lower supply counts, which is no longer relevant, because hey, guess what? Everybody maxed. Thing is, though, when the Terran... Okay, there's two more machine shops here. Four total. Another expansion is brewing as well. So, here's the deal. If the tanks get destroyed, he's probably not going to be able to remax them rather quickly. He's putting them forward. This is horrible. If he attacks now, Sunshine has window. is a couple of seconds. That's it. The window's gone. All, all of the vultures are at the back, though. So, if these zealots move in quickly, there is some scanners. No oh, dear God. The Arbiters are going to get not a good stasis on here, but there's more zealots on the way. These... Goons are going to be being attacked. Okay, the Zealots are in the tank line. And this is going to get cleaned up. There are a lot of vultures coming in from the back here. I'll zoom out a little bit. Because there's a lot of shit happening at the top here. But these tanks at the back are taking their toll. There's a couple of mines coming in here. There, The Zealots are done. And this is going to take a larger toll than I would have expected from both of these. But the Terran army is destroyed. And now we're still on quite a bit against... Not that much, but the factories are a churn and a lot of shit has been stacked up. These two, oh, that's, that's terrible. The two factories, okay, there's a lot of tanks here in the back. You can't do this without the zealots. They are now on stasis. You can't push this without zealots, even if there's only four in a couple of mines. You need the zealots, you need to build them quickly. Now, this is happening. We see a lot of zealots here. They're not being rallied to the front, however, but these top factories weren't being used for tanks. Only two. <laughs> so yeah, th these tanks are basically a bluff. If these get taken out, that's it. In the meantime, though, beautiful multitasking from both these guys. They've got a lot. I'm going to do this because uh, heresy. Um, a lot more gateways here to replenish this because there is, of course, a bit of an advantage in terms of Prodas capacity here right now. Um, this base is not operational yet. This one isn't either, but this one is. So yeah, we've got one, two, three. Still mining from, but this, this is not really a base anymore. Okay, we've got another push. Zealot's important, but the window is closed here. The bridges are, of course, death. So what he wants to do is go for that this base here, which is not really that protected. He has spotted it, but he doesn't want the full confrontation here. Let's go to the clean up the vultures here that are coming out, but you don't want to fight in the range of the siege tanks here. You really don't want to do that, so get the fuck out. A lot of zealots here. But this is not being defended at all. And currently, I don't think he's in a position to go all the way through here and squeeze it in here in a relatively short notice. I think something might be able to get sniped. These, uh, the barracks are actually going to see this little thing here. Not going to be able to do anything about it. And another SCV got locked, of course. But don't worry about that. Ah, these are being used now. And 150 supply to maxed already, but of course the clock is ticking. Do something with your army advantage. Why don't you? There's a couple of tanks now finally merging in here. And this is kind of becoming... Yeah, there's a lot of gas. That's not going to 
quite help with your saturation of gas, but okay. Now he's not doing anything with it. Sunshine, my dear friend, you're leaving the window you created and actually giving your opponent a base. Sure, you're working on your own. And surely, probably, this other one is as well. So one, two, three. Still four-ish, five-ish. But still. What else do we have? We have more Arbiters. Because those didn't quite do their job. There was a huge clump of tanks that could have been stasis and it didn't happen. So, fuck that. All right. So the Goliaths... There's actually no Goliaths here whatsoever. Build some. No Goliaths, no Goliaths, no Goliaths. And a shit ton of squirming vultures. Holy shit, that's a lot of crap. And that's 200 supply worth. So there we go. Window closed, but base still vulnerable. Because all of this bullshit... He's going to have a very hard time moving that all the way across here to defend anything. Maybe push it through and flank. Sure. That's a possibility. But, uh, yeah. All of this. And he is going to move out again. Sunshine, a little shy. Now allowed to set up properly this time. All the vultures, all the mines. Dragging that in. This is a much better setup and a much better engagement for Radama here, if it happens. There's no science vessels here either, something forgotten, but probably because he didn't have enough gas. But this is... yeah, not... you don't want to take this. You do not want to do this, except for the fact that, in terms of wiping your army, Sunshine would probably remax quicker. Um, yeah, there's a lot more left behind here, but this is a strong foothold in the middle of this map. But, okay, to what avail? There's a standoff here. Well, what's going to happen? Potentially a recall. See, bait, 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 bait. <laughs> Three shots. Here's a science vessel. Gonna help. Hey, look, an observer. Oh, wait, you didn't build any glides, did you? Did you think about it? Well, you're maxed again as well, so it doesn't matter. Another, po another little poke. Pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. Thinning out. Actually, this is no longer optimal. He spread out far too far. So, a direct crunch through the side here to the... To the the head of the snake might be able to do quite a bit of damage because this is spread out everywhere. It does have this control group of vultures probably sitting there waiting. The observer sees everything, so he can see perfectly. See, he is pushing towards this expansion. He does know about it. So what's going to happen here, Sunshine? Are you just going to give it to him? You got to push through. You don't want this entire middle because then you are going to get the brunt of this. You got to do it, Sunshine. You got to do it. You gotta push, you're giving him everything he wants. He's not capitalizing on it. Supply block, so he can't build any units to defend this. Needs to do it needs to happen, man. You gotta push this. You gotta clear well yeah, sure. Clear the minefield. Fine. Here comes the vultures. There's a couple of cannons here, but not enough. Okay, he's pushing forward. Pushing forward. Clearing this, a lot of mines to clear, but not enough tanks in the middle here. Again, to spread too thin. But that expansion mm, needs to go down. It has to go down. Oh, a blocked mine. Still doesn't want to push. Not enough. No, there's nothing there. But here's something. Nothing he can do about it. He needs to push through. What are you going to do, Sunshine. What are you gonna do? Sit here. While he murders your people. Well, they're probes. They're not really people. So I understand. And there's no... Ooh, lacks detection here. The goons are gonna win him first. Yeah, he's gonna go straight for the middle of the, the snake here. Let's see what the mind rags do. Not that many mines here. A couple of stasises. Um, very spread out units against that stasis though, however. But there we go. This is what is going to happen. A little late. Maybe not... Not in time to save whatever expansion is at the top there. Actually, yes. 
because the vultures got taken out. The tanks aren't moving up. All of this is retreating in the top here, and Terran's army is going to get destroyed because he spread out too thin. I'm happy he saw it because that would have been, yeah. All right, this has happened. I mean, he can remax almost instantly, right? He's got 10k in the bank. This is, you know. But there we go. The probes are dying. This fight is not over yet, dude. You have to push forward. He's losing all of these probes. That is disastrous. Even though he has the bank, he is going to go for carriers at this point, though. So do we... Yeah, we do see some Goliaths. A lot of Goliaths. He probably might have looked into that. I don't know. But there we go. Terran still has an economy and still is capable of remaxing. Once more, he's at one... Oh, woo. Idly CVs. There we go. This is cleaned up now. At a, lo at a loss of life of zero because probes aren't alive and they're engines of Satan. But, um, yeah, no, this is interesting. So the base got kind of saved. Carriers are kind of being made. The, vault, the Goliaths are also kind of being made. Um, the expansion is up now in the midst of that melee, which is funny because this is the side he attacked first. So yeah, this is it. Radama spread out too thin. I mean, a little bit of a task force. Just planting down in the middle here with your clump and then just sending a little task force like he did a little earlier and controlling that because that was actually the critical part. He abandoned that for a little too long in that engagement. Um... Again, no siege. Th oh, he saw saw the blip. No science vessels, though. There we go. He did see that. At this point, with all of this deployed, you really just want to go for this base. You really just want to, but... There we go. Again, remaxed again. They're not quite there yet, but Sunshine, my dear friend, you've had an advantage the entire friggin' game. You have. You've You won this game quite a while ago but now it's yours to lose because he did cripple your come a little bit you made a bit of a dent sure you've got the carriers they're probably going to finish the game off to be fair it it is known <laughs> it is known there's a lot of turrets being built there's a lot of glides being built mm. it's um so this is not going to come out because oh we do yeah i don't know we've got three more carriers on the way even though we're supply blocked but again sitting pretty and giving Taran a base uncontested. So yeah. And he is maxed again. So there we go. Equal footing once more. Not that big of a ground army anymore now. Not enough to take on the brunt of this mech army. Because of course you went for the carriers. So the brute forcing will have to wait. I don't know. This tank has been idle here for a while. Okay, he's going to push through. He is going to prevent you from... Again. He's going to push. You need to defend. And you're going to lose one of the two bases. This one, probably not as much. We Where did the carriers go? Are they in the base? There we are. Carriers might be effective because there's only tanks here. But again, the base is going to go down before... Rescue arrives, I think. At least the probes will die. There we go. So what's going to happen here? We have the brunt of the mech here, actually. Not that much left behind. Just faith in the... Uh, faith in the mines, but the Nexus will go down. Again, not really denting anything here. It's... Yeah. This is not even being replaced. Not even mining the fucking gas. So we do have these plus one, plus three shields, no armor, but forced to retreat, which is good. Job done. Quite a few carriers. Again, though, the fact that this is almost mined out is a slap in the fucking face. <laughs> no gas on this one. Doesn't... Yeah, well... It is going to get erased by the carriers here. And that's going to make it a little dire. Because this needs to live. He's planting down a lot of turrets. They are going to... Are they actually going to get finished? I don't think they will. He needs to position his uh, Goliaths here. He's got quite a few coming in here. But they need to be there already. 
The turrets might... He's focusing the, uh, the command center. The turrets will get completed. Some of them will. Token defense really is giving that up. So he's going to do one more push. Giving up that base. This is going to be mined out. Well, it's going to be mining for a while, but that's effectively him on one base. So replace... Oh, no! That's a costly mistake. He's running the Goliaths, the anti-air, straight into the bulk of the idle army that's been sitting here the entire fucking game. Basically, well, the last 10 minutes anyway. So this is going to be another assault. It is spread out. It is not coordinated. It is completely stasis while these carriers are running amok. He's sacrificed all of these Goliaths. They need to be replaced. But he's not producing anymore. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's sending in whether he has. The tanks are not going to help as much with the carriers. Is there fodder? Yeah, move commanding the Goliaths into the carriers is not really the way to defeat them. So I'm thinking our dear friend is just out of breath. Radama, you fought well. But you were given quite a bit. Um, yeah, there we go. These are running amok again. The stasis has worn off. So I must say, you play well, Anima. You played really well. But Sunshine really did not do anything with the openings he had. <laughs> so yeah, I must say. I mean, your builds tighten it up a bit. That um, The attack was just disastrous. A little cute little play with the factory should have really ended the game. You know? Losing a factory like that, not doing any sort of damage with the push. That was a game right there. And you were given a chance. Not, yeah. Not exploiting the vultures, you know. You did eventually, but maybe there should have been more pressure on him. On the sunshine. And sunshine, yeah, well, man. I mean... You won the game, congratulations. Because <laughs> I don't see this uh, changing. How did that vulture get there? Now it's dead. Bye. This is based, I mean, no saturation on the base. Carrier switch could have actually been disastrous. Because the Goliaths did kill themselves on the army that counters them. But if there was a bit of focus fire and you actually caught them here instead of nowhere, that would have been better. I mean, the taken out of the expansions is good. The fact that this never got attacked was weird, or even this when it was still up. Now he finally goes for it. Wow. Yeah. Alliance, oh, what a key. Oh, no plus three armor. But there we are. No GG. And that was game one of SCCB versus Ace. Game one. On with the next one.